What's going on you guys? Uh, this is MXKDI. I have another Del Vostro 200 mini tower. I'm upgrading the video card, hard drive, and the memory, and the power supply. I remove the side cover panel. And first I'm going to remove the power supply so we can upgrade. There's going to be 20 foot pin right here. You got that removed. There's a secure lock in the middle. Press it down like this. Little clip right here, press it down like gently and it removes it. 20 foot pin, you're gonna move from the hard drive, power, and optical drive, and the four pin right here. To get a four pin, you need a screwdriver. There's a pin right here, you gotta press it on it, you release it. Same lock right here. If you can't get it removed, then you have to move the 92 millimeter fan in here, but uh, it's right here, you can see it. Okay, we're gonna move the power supply. And right here, there's a little secure lock. You gotta press it down to release the power supply. It's a secure lock right here. So I remove the power supply and we'll upgrade to 450 watt Antec. Uh, you could use, uh, I like Carsair, Kingston, uh, no, I like the Carsair. Uh, the Carsair, good power supply, Cooler Master, Thermal Take, and Seasonic is my favorite. Entech is real good too. So, uh, so I'm going to install the power supply. And the first, if you install a new power, or the old one, you got to remove the four screws in the back with the Phillips screwdriver. And uh, to get the removed, then install the new one and put the four screws, four screws right in the back with the Phillips screwdriver. So we're going to reconnect the 4 pin for the power. And let me get a screwdriver. Okay, we're going to connect the 4 pin. Now 24 pin. And this is for the so this is a six pin for the power for the video card, but the video card I'm install is not it doesn't require a six pin connection. So okay, so we got that installed, 24 pin. Now we're gonna reconnect our optical drive. Okay, it's here the cable. Now, try to do wire management, okay. Now, I'm gonna remove the, the PCI bracket right here. There's gonna be one screw right here to hold the PCI bracket secure lock and get that, we need a Phillips screwdriver. To get that removed. And remove the PCI bracket here. And I'm gonna install the video card through PCI. PCI Express X16 slot right here to black off, slot right here on the top, but don't worry, we're gonna install the video card yet. Yeah, the video card I'm installing is actually not for gaming, it's just uh, for the dual monitor. It's not like for gaming, but it's also for dual disc dual monitor for the VDVI and HDMI. And this is a the Ruko Fanless, the Asus video card. What is it? GeForce 210? I can't remember. It looks like it is. Yeah, it's a Asus EN2210 silent, so it's a GeForce. And it's a low, uh, it's a low, it's not enough, not like a high end, it's a low end video card just for the dual display, dual monitor. So we're going to install through the PCI Express X16 slot here, the black slot right there. Really easy. And this video card does not require a six pin connection. So this is a low power video card. Okay, now we're gonna install a secure lock for the PCI bracket here. Just like that, and install the screw back. Screw it back on. 
So we upgraded the video card power supply. And now we're gonna. It's got two gigs in here, and I can install two more. It's a DDR2 890cc on buffer memory. I go with the, either Corsair, Kingston, or Crucial, the top three brands memory. It's a DDR2 800. And uh, this motherboard in here supports maximum uh, 8 gigs. That's 2 gig per each slot. With the, if you have the latest BIOS, make sure you update the BIOS. But it's a, it's got two. You can install 2 gig per each slot. So it will support maximum 8 gigs on 64 bit operating system only. But if you only run 32 bit, you only can go max, maximum 3 gigs. Uh, so you're going to uh, have 2 gigs right here. I'm going to install 2 more. So it'll be total 4 gigs. And when you install the memory, you're going to hear the click. <clears throat> Let me the memory is installed properly. So one more stick and dual channel. Okay, we install the memory, total four gigs. Now I'm gonna remove the hard drive, upgrade the hard drive. It's got 80 gig in here. I'm gonna upgrade to 500. It's half ter do upgrade to half terabyte. It's gonna have four screws in here. We use a Phillips screwdriver, but I only it only has two in this one, so I'm gonna install two more screws later. Okay, so we've got the hard drive removed and install another hard drive. So I have 500 gig. Reinstall the screws back. Honestly, I would just recommend probably going to Solar State Drive. Right? A lot quicker and a lot cooler. If you guys have them, uh, you can just upgrade to Solar State Drive. That'll be better. But the motherboard in here, it's a G uh, G thirty three M 2 I forgot to say, is only supports Intel Core two Duo. Or that's a dual core. But if your motherboard is G thirty three M 3 it supports Intel Core two Quad. But this motherboard G thirty three M 2 only supports Intel Core two Duo processor. So I just want to let you guys know that. And reconnect the SATA cable and the power for the power supply. Just like that. Really easy. Now, so we got the power supply installed, hard drive, video card, and the memory upgraded. So, guys, this is going to be it. Uh, this is uh, for Del Vostro 200 Mini Tower. Thanks for watching. Bye.